There is no real good reason why people weren't informed of this appalling situation where we have just destruction on a massive scale. And it's the scale, uh, as much as the issue of cutting down the trees, it's the scale of the, the trees that uh, you know, across the whole borders of network rail properties. They do have a responsibility, but I don't believe they have a statutory duty. And the issue is that network rail um, realise they've got customers, they've got trains to run, and their primary responsibility is to make sure that they have a viable, safe and economically viable service. We need to make sure together we work really hard to let Network Rail know they've got a responsibility. Oh yes, a responsibility to make sure the track's safe. And that's something which I think they've reneged on. How long have they had the track on super red alert where this, these trains have faced derailment? That's a massive concern to the public and to local people. But also, um, the question is why they have to completely just you know, destroy all the trees. All the trees, right to the borders here. In fact, we look here, there's allotments here. Those, those trees have only been saved probably because they're on the allotment. If they weren't, if they part of the network, well, they go. So I don't see the rationale to destroy all trees, particularly at the borders, to give some covering um, and some screening. So we need to get some replaced. They can find trees that aren't going to cause the damage to the banks that won't in any way threaten safety. So we need to get that. And what we're doing is trying to hold them to account in the way that um, we only can at the moment, um, which is to name and shame them. I'm willing to do that. I've um, written uh, representations to the Chief Executive Network Rail, say this is unacceptable. I've obviously spoken to the Minister to, and she said she's now going to haul over Network Rail about all this and what's what they've done, haul over the coals, basically what they've done about this. The other thing though is we're going to have a public meeting. That's next Friday, one o'clock, at the church in the orchard, um, just, uh, just a stone throw from here and encourage all residents who can get to that one o'clock meeting to go. I appreciate it's not the best timing for others. In fact, Network Rail has struggled to give us an appropriate timing at all, saying that an evening meeting is not um, suitable for them. But I think we should have another meeting as well, in the evening and others can attend, because it's a really serious issue that's caused such concern in the local community and has changed the face of this area, and we need to do something about it.